Hello Explorers! My name is Sept Ersusan Gaming. In this video we will be going into depth on most of High Tyrant creatures. High Tyrant, these creatures are simply the best of the best. The top meta is completely shifted around these creatures, and they should be expected on every team. They are the absolute top of the FO. Ankylos Lux is the reason why so many creatures are falling out on this list. Creatures like Testacornibus, Spina Constrictor, and Skunasaurus all saw drops thanks to this beast. You have an incredible swap move, a good on escape, good immunities, and insane defensive and offensive capabilities. This apex can swap in on so many creatures at Yi Chen Xiao Si, P and just take them from full to Lin Wan with little effort. This is easily in contention for the best creature in the game. Arcto Vasilis. Arcto Vasilis is a creature that has proven to be as good in practice as it has on paper. This creature will shred through any teams that aren't prepared to face it with relative ease, ferocity, shields, armor piercing, shield breaking, precision, high damage, good bulk, great multipliers, deceleration, stunning, this creature has it all, and will more than happily take your team out. Hydra Bowl Hydra Bowl was already a good apex, but now it is a contender for the best creature in the game with its new buffs. It now gained a distraction immunity and more attack, which now allows it to potentially EV certain creatures without using fabled finds, only to use it the next turn and put you in a RV scenario. This is definitely an apex to watch out for and a definite contender for best creatures in the game. Imperatosuchus Imperatosuchus right now looks like an absolute monster. You have an immobilize that heals and gives ferocity on top of that, you have a counter, an on escape that pins wall buffing attack, and a moveset that bleeds, shatters, and slows. This apex can do almost anything and take down almost anything, definitely a force to watch out for. This apex can do almost anything and take down almost anything, definitely a force to watch out for. Finally Raphranantum. Raphranantum got a big buff gaining a lot more HP, no delay on super distraction which became an impact, and distraction immunity and more Ren resistance all in exchange for Bavin's Ursula vulnerability resist. This was such a big power boost that it made the largest jump of the patch and snuck into High Tyrant, although it is probably near the bottom of the pecking order there. But with this kid and those stats, it can easily cover all its bases and have a good shot at beating almost anything it faces. Thanks for watching, 